We are just getting to the house, and I'm so excited right now. Uh, rain. We've, we've been getting rain. It's getting cold right now. Everything's just kind of really awesome. My yellow dog's not quite sure what to do right now. But uh, Liza made us taco soup. Now, nothing to me is better on a cold day than taco soup. And, I mean, it is freaking phenomenal. And if you guys want the recipe... I built a video on it. Just type in maybe uh, Schofield Taco Soup. I'm not quite sure. I'll try to find it for you. But uh, anyways, uh, today in this episode, we're going to go ahead and fit up a 3-inch sweep. So we got moved to flow lines, and uh, we're using these big 3R uh, fittings now. So I'm going to show you guys how to fit that up. Don't forget that if you guys are looking for tools or whatever, I've taken some time and I've found most of the tools that we use. And as long as they were a good price, I put them down in the description. So go check that out. And if you guys are looking for the website, it's scopefieldwelding.com um, for your apparel, stickers, anything like that. But you guys enjoy as we go ahead. We're going to get this fit up, get it welded together, and hopefully it all makes sense. So everybody be blessed. Have a great rest of your night, and we'll talk to you later. See ya. What is happening, you guys? Hey, I'm trying to cut down on some of the noise. Connor's over here welding right now. So you're probably going to catch quite a bit of his machine through the speaker, but you guys, right now we are getting ready to build a, uh, a well head hookup, basically is what it is. And all it is, is a 1500 pound, three inch flange, ring joint flange onto a one foot pup with a big sweep, with a three inch sweep. Uh, the takeoffs on those sweeps are like three foot. I mean, they're big sweeps. So we're going to show you guys how to kind of get one leveled up and and try to explain it as best we can. Because when you guys get out on the pipelines and stuff, you guys are going to be using 3R fittings. Uh, they're going to be big, longer fittings, and, and there's certain ways that will kind of help you guys get one of those fit up to where they're square and everything's about right on them, you know? So, uh, me and Jared are going to grab a sweep real quick and get set up in the jacks. So we'll see you in just a sec. All right, guys, this is a three-inch sweep. This is a 90-degree sweep. And uh, it's tying right into this. So what's happening right here is they're digging a ditch. And then this piece, so this is going to get attached to a run. All right. And then this piece is going to be sitting up above the ground. When we drill a well, uh, that allows them to come in and start, you know, then they just tie straight into this. And, uh, and it allows all that oil and stuff to run down through the flow lines and into the facilities. So you guys remember us building the facilities. That was about a year and a half's worth of building facilities. Right now, we're getting closer to the hole. Uh, so basically what would happen is they would build the facilities and then the flow line's gonna come in and they tie the wells into the facilities. So we're the guys that are actually getting the oil from the well into that facility to be processed and then taken care of, all right? So, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing thrown up in the jacks and, uh, and then go ahead and start fitting this. All right, now some of the things you're gonna need. Everybody wonders what my six foot level is used for. I love my six foot level. This thing is amazing for certain things. And especially when you start getting on like 24 inch, and, uh, and things like that, a six foot level is really gonna help be able to lay across these fittings and start getting things pretty leveled out. Uh, on this, the six foot level I use to check square. So what we're gonna do is I got a four foot level, a four foot Stabila, you guys. These things are made in Germany. I love them. Like my Stabilas are awesome. The magnets don't fall out of them. On my little Stabila levels, they're actually screwed into the level. So like, you can drop this thing and it's not going to freaking tear out them little round round magnets, all right? They got big bubbles on them. Yep, they got big bubbles on them. They got, I mean, they're just nice, nice levels and they're built solid. Okay, so we got this thing two hold. Everything's two hold. We've leveled the flange and, uh, and now we're going to go ahead and get this thing fit up. Now I got a little one footer right here. And that's going to tell me uh, just how squared up on the face I am. You're going to want to make sure your faces are squared up. When you go to fit this thing together, uh, it's going to be kind of a rodeo. If it's tilted off, you're going to take huge gaps. And it's going to look freaking weird. So, <coughs> start kicking some jacks around. Yeah. 
So guys, part of fitting this up is you're kind of looking right here to see what your gap's doing. You're going to have to start moving and kicking things around to where side to side everything's about right. And then, uh, and then we start leveling. thing about these sweeps is they're uh, kind of a pain because you got so many jack stands involved in. Right now we got three jacks and uh, it's kind of start helping move things along. Now I'm going to get Jared to grab the camera and he's going to zoom in on bubbles and we'll kind of show you what happens when you start moving little things around. All right, This, this middle jack controls a lot to do with this outside face level and then this, outside, then this outside jack really uh, determines um, the center. It's, it's the dangest thing. But anyways, grab the camera and let's get that. Guys, so what you can see right here is we've actually already fit up quite a few of these. we fit up uh, three of them already are on the ground. So our jacks really don't have to move all that much because we've been real careful about not bumping them. All right, But they still need a little tweaking. Now you can tell that this bubble right here, as far as the 90, that sweep is sitting very level in the jacks. Come on this side. So the sweep's sitting real level in the jacks, but as you can see right here on the face, the face is not. The face is riding downhill. Okay? So all I got to do is, it's, for some reason, it's the middle jack. Okay? Because what's happening is in that middle jack, like if you go to raise this, you're gonna be jacking this level up because it's just picking this up like this. So, use your middle jack and you can lower it and all it's doing is kind of rolling that 90 in there and it's gonna start uh, bringing that bubble up. Okay, now our bubble's good there and our bubble's good here. Can you see those, Jared? I can see that one, but that one I can't really see. I'm good. Okay, so as you guys can tell, everything's pretty level. Uh, when you start getting into those big fittings, you guys, this is where uh, getting longer levels um, starts to really help you out. <clears throat> so we're going to get this fit up real good, and uh, we're going to go ahead and tack it. So we'll let you guys sit back on the tripod, and we're going to go ahead and get this tacked, and then we're going to get this squared up to where it needs to be, all right? All right. 45? Yep. Okay, now as long as nothing's moved, that's the gap to get on the bottom. So that one's good, that's good, that's good. We're golden. Put me on 60. Okay, we're good. Okay, so that sweep is two holes to these two holes right here. Okay, now all we're going to do is we're going to take this level, put it on the face of this 90 right here, and then Jared's going to take a tape measure. Now there's not much to measure off of right here. We've got a one foot puff, and that's about it. So we just kind of do our very best to get it as square as we can, because when it comes to welding that stick of pipe on here, that's what's going to determine just how big your gaps are going to be and how, how much of a pain it's going to be for. She's on the money. Let's weld it.
you guys were done. Cap, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys were able to learn something. Everybody, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for your time. Thanks for hanging out with us. And uh, down at the bottom of the description, if you guys go ahead and are looking for tools, you're looking for blue books and the black book and, and stingers and grinders and things like that, I got links down at the bottom in the description on uh, where you guys can go ahead and find a bunch of those. Everything's on Amazon and uh, they'll just ship it right to your house. It's the best prices I can find and it's the tools that I use. So anyways, you guys, everybody be blessed and we'll talk to you later. See you.